Hey everybody, we wanted to send out a short video to show you how to update your ET as well as update the firmware in your COM3 adapter. The reason we want to do this is we're finding some technicians that are either having problems connecting to certain machines uh, and others that are having problems running specific tests within ET and the, the reason they're having trouble is they don't have the latest version of ET or the latest version of firmware in their COM3. You can see here that we're running ET version 2016C. 2016C is not the latest version. 2017A is now out. So we're gonna show you how to find the latest version. We're gonna start by opening Internet Explorer. And now we're gonna to go to dealer.cat.com. We will be sending out a, a link that will take you directly to the update site, but just in case, we'll show you how to get there manually as well. So I have a, a hot link, but you can see it's going to take us to dealer.cat.com. You'll need to log in with your CWS credentials. And that takes you to dealer.cat.com. Across the top, you'll see certain tabs. We're going to go to the product support tab. Click that. And now in these links, we're going to go to service software. You can see here it very clearly states CAT ET, SIS, STW. CAT ET is what we're worried about now, so we're going to click service software. And right here our ET icon has popped up. We're going to click on the ET icon. This takes you to Caterpillar electronic technician and you can see the available downloads 2017a version 1.0 is the latest version of ET so we're going to click on 2017a and we're going to tell it to run this may take a few minutes uh, be patient it will download all right we have now uh, downloaded the latest version of CAT ET. We are going to do the install setup now. The reason we started with ET is anytime you download the newest version of ET, it automatically brings in the newest firmware for your COM3. So we're going to start here with our install shield wizard. It automatically defaults the language to English. So we're going to say OK. You can see now it's going through its setup. And here we go. Click Next. You have to check that you accept the terms of the license agreement. Click Next and then Install. You may get this little pop-up window. Uh, Win Cap or Win P Cap is uh, it's a troubleshooting software if you're having trouble I don't recommend you install it. So when it says, would you like to install Win PCAP now? Tell it no. New information. Here's all the new information about the latest version of ET that you're downloading. Uh, what's new, troubleshooting guide, get started. Just go ahead and close this out. And then click finish. Minimize your screen. It will move your icon around. It's moved it down here. I'm going to pull it back up for you to see. But we now have ET version 2017A successfully downloaded to our computer. So now that we have the newest version of ET downloaded, we're going to go and update our firmware on our COM3. To do that, you need to hook your COM3 to your computer and then open ET. Again, here's the what's new. You can click do not show this dialog again if you don't want to see this every time you open ET. Or if you like to see it, leave it unchecked. I personally don't want to see it again. Hit OK. And I'm going to hit stop connect because we're not actually connecting to a machine. We just want to connect to our COM3. 
across the top here we're going to get to our utilities tab click utilities and then come to communication adapter 3 toolkit this is going to bring up and it's going to give you some information this is our status screen you can see here the summary screen for your your com 3 it gives you the part number the serial number a lot of information on it um, Here's our software release version is 1.26.56. That's what we currently have in our COM3. The next tab over is an application firmware flash. We're going to click it and it's going to ask you which file you want to, uh, to flash it with. We're going to hit select file. Because we updated our CAD ET, it has brought in a newer firmware to go in our COM3. If you remember, we had 1.2354, but here is 1.40.69. One thing to point out, uh, you'll see this number, this 1.40.69. There may be something newer, later, greater out whenever you go to do this. What you want to make sure is that you're clicking on the highest number. You'll see 1.23.54 and then it went to 1.40, so our number got larger. So the larger number is the newer file. We're gonna click open. And now you see here, this is the file name. You can't see it all in there, but we have selected that file. So now we're gonna click begin. You'll see here on the bottom, it's showing you that you are reprogramming and there's a little status bar that shows you how far you have progressed. We get a pop-up message letting us know the file transfer was successful and it says please wait while the COM adapter 3 is reprogramming and then resets. You can click OK. You'll still see it is still reprogramming. All right, we finished and then we get a pop-up that says a CA3 has been reprogrammed. So we have successfully loaded the newest firmware into our COM3. Tell it OK. You can see now our software release version has changed. We now have the 1.40.69, which is the newest, latest, greatest. So now we have the newest DT. We have the newest firmware in our COM3. We should be able to go and hook to any machine without any problems. Hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, please contact the training department or your TC.